Hello, my beautiful soul family. It's time for Warrior Friday. Last week, I asked you if you felt like a warrior. The Schumann resonance, which is the frequency of the earth, has been very low this week. And so, once again, the question is, do you feel like a warrior? Maybe you don't. The energies are just really low. And this is all about... I want to say the calm before the storm, but really it's the recharging of our batteries before we become active. In spring, we become active. In February, we need to recharge our batteries, especially here in the Great White North. Um, it's really cold, and today it's really super windy. I actually wanted to do my video outside this morning, and then um, I stepped out the door and I thought, yeah, no, I'm good. Um, I can actually hear the wind and I'm inside. So um, it's really super windy and cold. Not gonna do the video outside, but it's a good day to stay inside like the bear in the cave. The bear in the cave is recharging batteries, um, going inside himself or herself, um, meditating, not doing anything that's really, really physically stressful. Um, I haven't even exercised this week. I just, I just don't have the energy. And so I'm listening to my body because my body is saying, I don't want to do anything. Let's have a cup of hot tea and sit on the couch. Okay. And that's all right. We need to learn that that's okay to do. Now, a whole bunch of stuff going on in the world. Our job is to be calm and still be in that still point. Um, Pay attention to your pets. If you have pets, what do they do? Are they sleeping? Are they staying inside? I mean, there's some that are gonna wanna be outside in the cold because they don't mind it. Um, mine, you know, she's laying right there. She's like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna chill over here. I'm gonna take a nap. Then I'm gonna get up, have something to eat. Then I'm gonna take another nap. They know what's going on. So pay attention to them. We do have a full moon coming up on the 16th, February 16th, which is right after Valentine's Day. Um, it is, I have to look at my cheat sheet. It's a really interesting full moon when you look at it from this perspective that I'm gonna talk about. So in Ojibwe, it's the Webinagat, Webin, I had this down pat. Webinage Gizes moon. And I apologize if I got that wrong. You know who you are because you're going to go, oh, yeah, I need to correct her. Um, this is the February full moon, and they call it the throwing away moon. And when I learned about this, I got really choked up because when we get an emotional response that's automatic, it means there's something there that you need to deal with that you haven't dealt with fully. And so I know that next week I need to do something um, with this full moon. It's called the throwing away moon. And so one of the things that we can do is take a stick and put what we need to throw away on that stick. And then when the full moon is out, we throw that stick away. So what's really interesting, I'm already getting hmm, emotional, so I know this is important for me to do. So when my son was still here, he had taken some sticks and carved them into wands, like magic wands, from Harry Potter. And so I have several of those and I'm going to take one of those and that's what I'm going to attach my stuff to. And I'm going to throw it off to the full moon. I don't know if you noticed that, but the light just came on me. Hi, Alex. So next week on the 16th, and really it's the 15th, 16th and 17th, we have a three night window. Um, you might want to do a throwing away. And this can be events in your life. It can be issues, tr 
trauma, um, bad habits, whatever you feel is blocking you, let's get rid of it. Okay, so the throwing away moon. I'm <laughs> I had this down pat. I said it like six times perfectly before the video. And now I look at the piece of paper and I'm like, yeah, I can't even say it. Oh my gosh. Webin Webinige Webinige Gizes. Webinige Gizes. Webinige Gizes. Throwing away moon in February. All right. So we have something to do next week. Also remember to charge all your crystals and your jewelry and yourself um, in the full moon. Whatever needs to be cleansed and charged in the full moon, that would be next week on Wednesday. So now that the sun's coming out, oh, it feels glorious. Um, we have a card from the Spirit of the Wheel deck, one of my favorites, because I love the artwork. I would totally have that as a tattoo. I just don't know how it would work with all the white. Um, the card we were given is card number 32. Three plus two is five. Five is all about changes. It's also um, that, that waiting period, um, which is what we're in right now. We're in this waiting period. We're the, we're the bear in the cave, remember? Um, we're the butterfly in the cocoon or the caterpillar in the cocoon or the gooey mush in the cocoon. Um, we're not, it's not time yet to move on. We're just in this waiting period, in this still period. And so this card, number 32, which is a five, is an affirmation of that. But it is also the card of clarity. It says, spirit path of the east. Breakthrough, inner vision, and truth. So this is the card. Isn't that beautiful? So let's see what the... I'm just going to drop everything today, apparently. Card number 32. I love this deck. I just wish the print and the book were a little bit bare. <laughs> Clarity. A gentle breakthrough is occurring in your life. As if the clouds have shifted and the sunshine is streaming through. Hello, sunshine. Stream through on me. Something that has been eluding you suddenly becomes clearer. You begin to see how past, how that past experience fits into the greater picture of your life. And that's one of the things that I've been doing this winter is, um, it's not even intentional. I just start meditating and then a past experience or life event pops into my mind. And I think, oh, wow, I can see that clearer now because back in the day, I saw it this way, but now that I'm farther away from it, I see how that is preparing me for what's going on now or for what went on, you know, two years ago. Um, so those events from our past created the foundation for our life now. Now is not the time to waste energy on regret. Regret is just, it's not a good emotion. Instead, just be thankful that the murky waters have at last become clearer. Regret only hurts you. It doesn't give you anything. It just takes. So let go of regret. Give that to the, the full moon on Wednesday. Regret, worries, fears, you don't need them. They're not good for you. They don't give you anything. They only take. So there is often a reason the truth is hidden from our view. We may not have been ready to face it or believe it before now. As confusion fades, you are able to see the whole picture. With your mind clearer, you open the way to begin anew, to be born again. The wisdom gained from experience strengthens your perception. You can look toward the future with quiet confidence. Yeah, I got that. Trust your judgment in making decisions. Your inner vision 
has been restored through your acceptance of the truth at hand. A veil has been lifted and you are now ready to let go of the things that have kept you from living out your truth. You're now ready to let go of those things. And then next week we have this throwing away moon where we can get rid of those things. And you know, those things could be from last week or it could be from 37 years ago or 80 years ago or past lives. It doesn't matter. Time doesn't matter because there's no such thing anyway. Um, but do whatever you have to do. Make it a crafty project. Throw your stuff away. Give it to Grandma the Moon. Grandma the Moon and Mother Earth will gladly take whatever you choose to offer them. And they will transmute that into something positive. Think about this. You throw your stick to the wind. The wind carries it. Mother Earth Sorry, Grandmother Moon lifts off whatever needs to be lifted off. And Mother Earth breaks down that stick. She turns it into nutrients for the soil, for the, the worms and the birds and the, and the bugs that are under there, for the plants, for the trees. So how beautiful is that? And they'll transmute whatever emotions and events and traumas that you added to that stick. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So there's a prayer that goes with this card. Let's see what it says. Creator, great spirit, I thank you for the clarity that is returning to my life. Because of this recent breakthrough, I can feel my trust and confidence growing. I am ready now to embrace my newfound truth. We're peeling away the layers so that we can become that person that we came here to be. We've set up the foundation. We've learned lessons. We've dealt with karma. And now it's time for us to be beautiful light beings. And that's why we're warriors of the light because now we can shed all that stuff. I was talking to somebody yesterday um, about different timelines. And I have to admit, I got a little frustrated with the conversation because she wants to, or excuse me, she did, because she knows how to play with timelines. So she changed her timelines so she wouldn't have any more lessons to learn because she just wanted to have um, an easy life now. And I said, but if those lessons were lined up for you, you, you're, you signed up for those and you're supposed to go through them. She goes, well, I don't want to. And I said, but at some point in time, you need to do that. And she goes, but I don't want to. <laughs> so <laughs> why am I talking about this? Um, there's things that we still need to deal with, still need to go through. And sometimes we will have an event in our life that is similar to one we had previously. Maybe it's an abusive relationship and that's the universe's and your higher self's way of going, do you have that self-worth yet? Let's just see. We're going to test you. And if you've grown, and you're done with the abusive relationship cycle, you're going to go, yeah, no thanks. But if you haven't learned your lesson, you're going to pull that person in and you're going to try to fix them and blah, blah, blah. You're in the, in the cycle again. And so we need those timelines. Um, we, we asked for them. They were set up for us or we set them up for us. And those are not just tests, but they're like checkpoints for us. Did you deal with this? No? Okay, well, here's another opportunity for you to deal with this. So sometimes those things that we go through after this point of, of being reborn and, and getting rid of all the past trauma and karma, um, sometimes we get that again, but it's just a test. And if you look at it like just a math test in high school, it'll be over in an hour. It's not a big deal, but if you make it into a big deal, well, then it's going to be a big deal. So just 
Don't make it into a big deal. Pass the test, accept that, that little checkpoint, and then move along with your life and go, yeah, I got this. I do have self-worth. I do have good self-esteem. I know who I am. I am a beautiful, strong, empowered person. I am light in a 3D human suit. Yeah, you got this. And somebody's tickling my nose right now. So actually, if somebody out there, if your nose is tickling, there's a message for you in here. So I don't know. It could be me. It could be you. If you're sitting out there and your nose tickles, yeah, you better be paying attention. <laughs> Watch the video again. So next week, full moon, throwing away moon. We've got clarity coming in. Know that there is a lot of stuff going on in the world and layers are being pulled away just like an onion or petals of a rose. Okay. Love is way down in the core, but we got to pull all those petals or leaves or whatever off. Um, and then things are revealed. So don't be surprised when things are revealed these days. They're probably not going to be in the mainstream media. You got to look elsewhere. Um, you know, on Rumble and BitChute and all those other places um, for the real news. Um, but just know that these layers are being peeled away. And you may freak out at some of the stuff that's going to be revealed. And that's okay because it's shaking your foundation. But if you have a solid foundation, you're not going to freak out that much. You, you know, you might just go, oh, wow, <laughs> never would have guessed that of that person. And that's okay. You know what? We're all on our own journey. And some people are here to do things totally opposite of you. And that's okay, because it's their journey. Um, but sometimes those people out there that are doing these things that we would consider bad, they're doing that to wake us up. So just think about that. I always think about Professor Snape in the Harry Potter series, you know, the whole time you're reading the books or you're watching the movies, you're like, yeah, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. There's little glimpses of good, and but then he's bad. And you never know until the very end. Oh, wow. He was a good guy. He had totally infiltrated um, the dark side and was helping the good side. So um, just know that there are people out there that are doing things that maybe they're doing those things just to wake us up. And our job is just to be grateful. And those people that are doing bad things, just send them lots of love because they need it more than anything. Um, and if you can't, that's okay. There's other people like me. We send love to everybody. It's all good. All right. That's the message for today. We are beautiful warriors of the light. Never, ever, ever forget that. Okay. You can only have one thing in your heart and it's either love or fear. Choose love and then pass it on. I love you guys. Let's finish with this. I love you guys. I'm sending you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, and divine health and all other good things because you are worthy and you deserve them all. Have a beautiful day.